The data layer is the backbone to the ControlX core architecture. It is the data broker of the ControlX core system and provides secure and managed access to the real-time and non-real-time data that is available on the control. The data layer uses a REST API and manages the communication of all the data between different apps and it can be modified to include user-defined data points. This ties together all of our ControlX core apps in much the same way as your smartphone distributes information between apps. Built with state-of-the-art security, the data layer is open to external access as well. This opens up the possibility to create external applications in any programming language that can manage a secure REST API. In this video, you will get to explore the data layer, understand the structure and see the data generated from some of the apps we have already installed in previous videos. To get access to the data layer, uh, in the left panel here, the main screen, in the control X, we want to open system. The second option here is the data layer. And here's where you can see all the data uh, that gets passed around between the different snaps in the application. Uh, you can see there's a motion node, a PLC node, um, there's a diagnostic node. Uh, and you can actually kind of dig into each of these and look at the data that the application is providing to the data layer or reading from the data layer. Um, for example, on the x-axis, we can look at the command options and here you can see you can write uh, values here on the far right and execute those values with the, the play button here in the middle. These are the commands. You can also look at the state of the axis. If you were to look down here at the values, you can see things like the actual position, currently actual velocity, uh, etc. Um, if you look at the PLC node, you can look under app, application, symbol. So this is the symbol file, which we're about to show you a couple of things about that. And then, in this case, motion program. And here you can see the R jog velocity, which we're going to use in the node red uh, video. Um, so here you can look at data that's being uh, provided and written from different, from different applications for the PLC app. And I'll show you how you can add a piece of data to the data layer. So this is the PLC application that we're working on in a different video. And uh, I've added this R jog velocity. Um, what I can do if I want to add another piece of data is just log out of this application. And in the right left hand panel, I've added this symbol configuration. And I added that by right clicking on the application, added an object, and it's already configured now so you don't see it currently, but the symbol configuration will be present. Once I open the symbol configuration, I can go in here and it'll give me the available uh, tags that I can map. And then I can just sort of move those over. So if I click the enable here and then log back into the application, now if I make my way back to the data layer <clears throat> and I refresh it, you can see the be enable value is now on the data layer. 